thanks for choosing Fleet Express from Inmarsat. A project manager and a project coordinator will be assigned to support you. The project manager will arrange a delivery date and location for the commissioning. Before the commissioning can take place, there is some pre-installation work that must be carried out and the project manager will track the progress of the work. To ensure a smooth and successful installation, we need your help to follow the preparation steps outlined in the pre-installation guide and checklist that will be sent. Inmarsat has the capacity to provide installation and service support anywhere in the world from regional logistics hubs with production facility. The solution consists of a VSAT antenna, a fleet broadband antenna, and a cabinet that contains all of the relevant hardware elements that will enable a high-speed and resilient communication system for your vessel. Inmarsat's project manager will recommend the placement and height of antenna pedestals in cooperation with the customer. These specifications are also a part of the detailed installation guide provided. It is very important that the pedestal is placed onto one of the stronger parts of the deck, and we recommend the addition of welded support legs to minimize vibration. Please ensure safe access and standing platforms that will allow for ease of installation and for inspection operations. To facilitate an optimal connection, the antenna must be installed in a location that gives a clear sightline to the satellite. It's important that the antenna is positioned as high as possible and be free from obstruction. Antenna placement approved. Suitable connection of the pedestal to the vessel. Safe access and standing platforms. Antenna sight lines free from obstruction. Inmarsat will as a minimum supply the coaxial cables. If you intend to supply the cables on your own, it must meet the Inmarsat specification and be approved by us. These cables will need to be installed and run by the ship's engineering team. With the cables in place, the Inmarsat engineer will take care of terminating and making final connections of the cables. Maritime rugged power cables are required. For the gyro, signal readiness is crucial. Antenna and coaxial cables, bend and coil radiuses must be the correct specification. If you are connecting an existing FBB terminal to the FX solution, you will need to run UTP cables from the FBB BDE to the Inmarsat cabinet. Inmarsat approved coaxial cables. Cables to be installed by ship's engineering team. Maritime rugged power cables are required. Functioning gyro cable installed and connected. Ensure correct bend and coil radiuses. The cabinet should be placed in a clean and air-conditioned environment. Avoid placing it nearby or under places with risk of water leakages. The cabinet needs to be mounted on a stand and ideally close to power source, gyro source and network points to avoid long cable runs. For serviceability, access to the back side of the cabinet is required. Additionally, on one side of the cabinet there must be room for the fans to function. Cabinet placed in a clean and air-conditioned environment. Avoid areas prone to water leakages. Mount on a stand with access to power, gyro and network. Easy access is required. Room for fans to function. With the cables run, the cabinet securely located and supplied with power, the domes can now be installed and connected to the system. Final tests to verify satellite connectivity will be performed by the Inmarsat engineer and Network Operations Centre. Once commissioning is confirmed, the system is ready for the customer to use. As a default, the delivery will come with one output for business and one for crew. Therefore, data and network cables must be run to the point where connectivity is required to the vessel's IT network and phones. For example, on the bridge or in the master's cabin, crew mess and accommodation areas. 
Before an engineer can go on board to perform the commissioning, it is important that the pre-installation work and checklist are completed. The Inmarsat coordinator will ask for the completed checklist to be emailed back. It is vital that any fabrication work is undertaken well in advance of the installation. Any delay in cable runs, access to power and gyro source can cause significant delays and potential extra costs. During the attendance, the Inmarsat certified technician will first verify the pre-installation work status. Provided all is in order, the following scope is covered. Terminate cables. Commission the link. Test and verify data and phone lines. Document installation. Captain and crew training. In case the pre-installation work is not completed, according to the checklist, it will be considered as out-of-scope work, and this will be charged in addition to the cost quoted for the attendance. 